Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. My name is Ola Jumoke. I hope you're doing well. A warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. I'm so glad to have you as part of my small but growing family here on YouTube. So a few days ago, I read an article on Kendrick Lamar and he was speaking about authenticity. So the headline read something like what Kendrick Lamar would like to teach marketers about authenticity. Now the gist of the article really was around him being very tired and fed up with I suppose this construct of beauty that is pushed in the media, the narrative of what beauty really looks like versus reality. So he was talking about you know the excessive use of filters and the excessive use of, I suppose, body augmenting apps that make people look very different to what they actually look like in reality. And this really got me thinking, and I thought it was quite interesting because beneath a photograph of him, the caption read, it is impossible to be one's true self if you don't know who you are beyond what you do. So basically what that is speaking to is if your sense of self, your sense of identity is tied up into your job or your career or perhaps even your relationship or the things you own, how can you be your authentic self? Because the truth is any of those things could go away in a split second and then what are you left with? And this really got me thinking about, you know, really authenticity. Of course, we live in a world that is very, very focused on pushing the narrative of being oneself, you know, be yourself, be true to who you are. But the reality is that the images we see, the fashion we see, what we're being fed with, what our senses are being bombarded with, all of those things are not reality. So Instagram is a classic example where you have a lot of augmented photos and reels and posts and things like that. You also have all these filters on cameras that make your skin look incredibly phenomenal and it's not reality. So we live in a world that pushes the narrative of be yourself, but in actuality, brands will do what they need to do to get you to buy their products. It's as simple as that. So he is now speaking to marketers to say, look, we need to get back to the beauty of just being oneself without all of the sort of bells and whistles. Think about the images we see, what's on the media, the mainstream media, what the standard of beauty is. If you're not a certain height, perhaps a certain hue, or you know, have a certain hairstyle or facial feature, you're not considered beautiful. Look at Instagram, look at Facebook, look at you know all of these apps, TikTok. What sort of beauty standards do they promote? It's all about a certain standard. And right now, of course, as we all know, it's the Kardashian standard of beauty. Well, not everyone looks like that. You know, the supermodel Cindy Crawford said something that is incredibly profound many, many years ago. She was in an interview and she was asked by the interviewer, you know, what makes her look so stunning? What's the secret to her beauty? And she basically said, Cindy Crawford does not even look like Cindy Crawford in reality. What she meant by that is that there are so many post photo shoot applications that are applied to the images to make her look different. You know, a little bit of nip and tuck here and there, you know, the brightening of her skin, the beauty apps applied to her hair and filters like that. So she was basically saying that she doesn't look like that in reality. So imagine a supermodel who realizes that a lot has been done to really change, you know, and sort of structure her images. And that's the image that's pushed out to the world to see as reality. If someone like that realizes that she can't even meet the standards that are set by these marketers, how much more everyone else who considers themselves to be average or perhaps below average. This is an impossible standard to meet. And what Kendrick Lamar is really pushing is that we need to stop doing this. We need to stop putting out impossible body types, archetypes and beauty standards and almost deceiving people into thinking that that is reality. And that is why it is so super important to be very mature if you are on social media. Be careful of the things you feed your eyes with, be careful of the things you listen to, things you feed your spirit with, because not all of that is authentic. There's an advert that came out recently by Dove, and I absolutely love it because it shows a little girl, a young girl who has taken an image and of course, you know, applied lots of filters to it. 
and the advert shows the rewind of the process where she's taken the filters off she's taken her makeup off and it ends up with this image of this stunning little girl as she really is so I really love his messaging and I think it's time that, you know, celebrities and people with, I suppose, power and voices, they start to use that for the betterment of young girls, young women, or, you know, just anyone who might feel very self-conscious and anyone who feels like they can't meet up to the, the beauty standard that is, you know, foisted against them or foisted upon them by the media every single day. I think that beyond the message of beauty, it is really important to realize that your sense of self-worth does not come from what others say it is. Also, your sense of self-worth shouldn't come from what you do. So take myself for an example. I recently made a life-changing decision which um, has been very challenging in the fact that it was an extremely bold decision to make, but I knew it was the right decision. Even though my mind, my brain is still sort of catching up to that because I always attached my sense of self-worth to what I did for a living. And I still do, but it's a process I'm going through where I'm trying to separate myself, my identity from what I do for a living. That's a very small infinitesimal part of, you know, the whole structure of who Ola Jumake is. It's not who I am. It's what I do. And so that caption really struck me that said, you know, it's impossible to be your real self, to be true and authentic as a person if you can't separate who you are from what you do or the things you own or your relationship or you know whatever it might be that sort of keeps you almost trapped that perhaps makes you think that you are not worthy if you don't have that thing in your life and i really feel that it is of the utmost importance that we ourselves start practicing authenticity whether that's in our lifestyle or you know what we do for a living and you have shows like love island that might be extremely entertaining but young people watching that might feel like well these people have been selected based on their beauty which i'm sure is you know part of the truth but it also doesn't mean that you need to look like them to feel good about yourself so i think it's really really important that as a community, we start to push the narrative, especially to the younger ones, to say that all of the images you see, all the rhetoric around beauty standards and you know what your body should look like, those things are not reality. And you need to develop your own self-confidence. And I think this is really important as well for parents to build your children's confidence from when they are really young, encourage them, listen to them, and just pour into them confidence. Because I genuinely believe that confidence really is birth at home. So if your parents have spoken positivity into you all your life, you tend to sort of get into the world thinking, yeah, I'm the stuff, like I'm, you know, I'm it. And whilst that in itself is not enough to build confidence longer term when you are actually faced with the real world, I think it's a good start. And I think it's very imperative as adults that we start to teach children how to be confident beyond all the superficial sort of add-ons, so to speak. So I really hope this video has spoken to someone who maybe is feeling a little bit down perhaps you're feeling not your best today or you know you've been seeing images and seeing sort of posts and content that makes you feel less than you are remember what you see is literally someone's best foot being put forward they don't show you the worst of themselves and sometimes those images have been crafted in a very clever way that makes it very difficult to decipher between what is real and what has been filtered. So it's important to look after yourself, look after your mental health, do away with things that are triggers for you, perhaps things that don't make you feel your best and focus on positive things that are uplifting for you and uplifting for your spirit. So until next time, look after yourselves. Bye for now.